<laughs> yeah, do not listen to him, man. Um, <laughs> let's see what's going on, man, in Blackistan tonight, man. Now at 10, a threat stopped in anti-violence groups' efforts to keep the streets safe in Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Dan Spieler. And I'm Beer Shell Edmay. Fox 59's Jenny Dreisler spoke to Indy 10 Point and the Madison County Hand Up Initiative with the challenges they're facing. There hasn't been a whole lot of pushback. The criminals realize that they can commit crimes in, in broad daylight and that nobody's going to say anything. And that's the problem. And that's exactly why Jason Fullington started the Madison County Hand Up Initiative in Anderson in 2022. The group is made up of about 15 people who patrol the streets of Anderson one night a week. He says crime has increased in Anderson and recent threats to groups like the Hand Up Initiative have become oh, more common. We program. understood that there's some risk. Yeah, man. Shout out we to got the shit. Mm. But, um, you know, I'm sure this is a glider town. And I'm sure these are glider criminals that, um, that they're, um, you know, responding to, right? <laughs> uh, presumably, yo, right? Yo, if, if, well, look, put it like this: like, if it's Sun Man, then this is a how it started. Picture. I can't wait to see how it's. They're going. not describing these guys as a militia, so the clan, the U.S. clan. The threat, the biggest threat to this country, if you ask me. Is there anybody from Indiana in the building? And shout out the man, Bear Bull Shark. He says, "Can we have a moment of silence for No Tip Tariq?" <laughs> that was a dude you had on here, and we were like, "Tell us how much you tip, man." He's like, "Uh, oh, oh yeah, five percent." Damn, five. Everybody's just like, "God damn," you know. For, did, 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 he, did he really say five percent? It was. It was. Yeah. I mean, the question yeah, was like, crazy. "What do you think you should tip on like a eight, you know, eighty-five dollar bill?" And he's like, "Uh, eight bucks or something like that." <laughs> damn. That's yeah, crazy. man. Anybody from Anderson in here? Anderson, because I want to know if these. This is a all white. It program. sounds glidery. Anderson kind of sounds glidery to me. Yeah, but but are the criminals gliders? Because just because the town is glidery yeah. doesn't mean. Well, look, look. I'm gonna go out on the limb, and I'm gonna go against the grain. I bet you they're gliders. So it looks okay. like uh, it's about 75, 15% sun, 15% oh. sun people. Uh -oh. So it, that's like 15, it's gliders oh, yeah, and it's, sun it's, people. That's a strong team. That's a 15. strong team. Woo. You're in danger territory. Exactly why Jason Fullington started the Madison County Hand Up Initiative in Anderson in 2022. The group is made up of about 15 people who patrol the streets of Anderson one night a week. He says crime has increased in Anderson and recent threats to groups like the Hand Up Initiative have become more common. We understood that there's some risk involved when we started doing this. There's absolutely, if there was no risk involved, there'd be no need for this. But that being said, as threats come, if they come, we're not going to respond to them. We're just going to keep moving and doing our work. Fullington works closely with the Indy 10 Points Reverend Charles Harrison, who says these threats come with the territory, including a recent threat to the Anderson group. The team got information that uh, uh, they were being threatened uh, if they continue to patrol in the area where the shooting occurred. Harrison says threats like this are targeting anti-violence groups across the country right now, and it makes it harder to recruit people to help walk the streets. There are going to be people. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that these groups were getting threats like that. Did y'all guys know that? That's no. an escalation. Yeah. I mean, we saw the Safe Streets program in Baltimore where they had three guys killed in one year. But those guys were like halfway in the, in the streets and halfway out the streets. But I had no idea that, that, that they started to threaten these these programs, man. I didn't know that, man. That's Wow. That's a, that's a major escalation, man says threats like this are targeting anti-violence groups across the country right now and it makes it harder to recruit people to help walk the streets there are going to be people that are going to be scared you know because of the threats and, and my advice is you know to work closely with law enforcement uh, certainly to let law enforcement know what's going on uh, you know, and continue to be vigilant in the work that they do in the streets. Harrison hopes the threats don't deter anti-violence groups in central Indiana from continuing to fight crime.
ones. They cannot allow that to prevent them from doing the good work that they do. In Anderson, Jenny Dreisler, Fox 59 News. Now in Anderson, Fullington says his group is looking for more volunteers. So to find out how you can help out, click on this story on our website. We're going to wait on her. But like I was saying, even on time, go. Yes, he is. Developing right now at 6 o'clock, the family of the missing 12-year-old girl celebrating the news that she was found safe. Now the focus is shifting to 